Hey guys, it's Alfin and welcome back to another Black Ops 6 campaign video. I won't spoil what happened in the last episode. If you want to know, go check it out. It was pretty heavy, pretty insane, and actually my favourite mission so far in Black Ops 6, and probably within my top three or five in, well, of all time, to be honest with you. But let's not waste any more time. Again, I appreciate the love and support, and uh, let's crack on with the next mission. B-24, it turns out refers to a safe deposit box contained within the Casino Lutazzi's archive room. As for the wire mentioned on the disc, I assume the Pantheon is funding their research through laundered casino money. Whatever's in that box, my money says it points us right to Gusev. And that's the hope. So we're gonna blow open their vault, but it's not the cash we're after. Inside the vault, is the only place I can override the archive room's security. And while the Lutazis are distracted by our heist, Cates is gonna infill the archive room and find the box. Even getting close to that room will be tough. Not if Casino Security escorts Case right into the wing containing the archive room. Where they usually question persons of interest. Case is going to get captured on purpose. Precisely. It's dangerous, and it's gonna take all five of us to pull it off. Starting with me at the high roller table. When a big bear sets our whole plan into motion. We'll be ready. I know you will. Let's find out what the Pantheon's hiding in that casino. James Bond style. Good, you ready? Good on my end. Just wait on case. All set. Ciao. Welcome to Casino Lutazzi. Chips, please. Your boy here is feeling real lucky. Very good, signore. Do you have any weapons that need to be checked? Right. Probably don't want sore losers walking around straight. Grazie. Enjoy. This place is something else. Marshal, walk over to the sign in front of the card display. To the right of the bar. On my way. This place is bringing back bad memories. Out always wins, Sav. I was in here to gamble. Killed business. It wasn't pretty. These days, Casino Lutazzi is a neutral space. The other Avalon factions respect that. Hmm. Honestly, this might be the best mission to get as much money as possible, in all fairness. Ciao, signore. You look like someone who appreciates luxury and finesse. And an edge. In bocca al lupo. Time to play some <laughs> poker, Marshal. Gotta win that hoity-toity high roller bar. Only way we'll get access to the lounge. And the High Roller Lounge has what we'll need next. Oh, oh, the flow, it, it keeps shifting. Any more money I can uh, steal, use? No? Aww. <laughs> Take a seat. Don't mind if I do. There is no shame in losing, Mr. Marshall. Mr. Masha. Welcome, Signore. The game is Olden Poker, with the winner receiving the High Roller Bar. Looking forward to it. All set, Case. You know the score. Gotta tap all three junction boxes to give me the full view. Oh, Jesus. I wasn't expecting to be in the thick of it straight away. May as well try and stick to the shadows whilst we're at it. Got eyes on the main floor. It's a real swanky. Two to go. 
But yeah, if you've seen the last video, I can't believe that Hal or whatever her name was is part of the baddies. And it is, like I said, the fact that it was zombies based, I mean, does that mean that zombies are canon now? I mean, either way, whatever the answer is, it was insane. I thought it was incredible. But yeah, I keep forgetting to uh, change my settings. Because in multiplayer, I, I play on the low settings and then on campaign, I, I up it a bit. Security room feeds. These guys ain't messing around. One more. And there's the vault armory. A lot of firepower hanging on those walls. That takes care of the cameras. Time to head inside and give yourself up, Case. They'll haul you to the back of the casino. Get you close to the archive room. But yeah, I've actually grown to like the uh, the Black Ops 6 multiplayer a Get little ready. bit more. Well, what do we have here? Looks like a little sewer rat. Let's talk. In private. Poor Case. That'll do it. Case is in. Marshal, your time to shine. Win that table and you'll have access to the High Roller Lounge. My new friend here is so generous. He keeps giving me all his chips. Don't tell me I've got to try and win. Teach our kids to win with grace and humility. I'm afraid you are not in Kansas anymore, Dorothy. This is a game for adults, not school children. That bar is mine. I got a camera feed behind that schmuck. Time to turn your luck around. We here to talk or play cards? Bet. Go. Cool. Our fearless American does not know when to take a bow, <laughs> huh? Yeah, this is the kind of thing I don't understand how you play. Uh, I can't see his damn cards. Shake things up a little. My opponent is not only fearless, but quite possibly insane. He's got nine and ten of clubs. Nothing there. Raise. Raise. Such confidence. <laughs> Go. Should I practice mercy, ma chérie? Huh? He's bluffing. He still ain't got shit. Signore Bado checks. Raise it. Senor Marshal Betts. You got this, motherfucker. Go. And now, the final card. His only chance is... God damn, lucky bastard got us straight. All in. Sev, do your thing. Marshal, whatever's up your sleeve, time to use it. Your drink, Signore. Oh, you must be... <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir. Please, let me help. Oh, shit. What are you doing? I'm terribly Stop. sorry. Just, I can't worse. Just leave me alone, huh? Oh, man. You need a minute? No, no. Just go away. Continue the game. All in. Gentlemen, showdown, please. About a lost. Full house. What? Savings full of jacks. Senor Marshal wins. Good game. <laughs> Moving to the high roller lounge. What? You see the pit boss in there? He's there. Got a key card hanging right off his ass. Yeah, what I was gonna say is how a poor case man. It, it's like Bell. He always gets put put with the shit. Felix, you in position? Of course. Yeah, like I said, I'm enjoying the multiplayer. I've almost got the assault rifles diamond. I've just got the the goblin to go. I've got the launcher's diamond. Though I I hated that he one launcher. I absolutely hate when I have to guide the missile. Uh, sorry, signore. You'll need uh, one of these. Congratulations. <laughs> Come right in. He's inside. Marshal, head to your right. You can place the scrambler on the slot machine closest to the double doors. Is there seriously no cash laying about? That's really unlucky. The game gave me false hope. Felix, you're almost up. Something's up. Wait, no. I need you all to clear the area. You can 
not playing these wins. Senor, stop. Senora, please. The cooperation is greatly appreciated. Please, the machine is malfunctioning. You can't claim it. Get back here. Finally, took you long. What seems to be the problem? Are you serious? Ah, yes. I did warn management that the, like I told you, the problem isn't the machines. I'll need to reset the cell. Do it. Hey, man. This lady needs a bucket to carry those winners. Senor, yeah, I'm sorry. Before, before, before. Maybe some of those canvas bags, some big dollar signs on. Please understand. There's been a technical issue with working now get through to the server room and reset those slot machines, Felix. It's really cool that we're playing as all of them so far. I'll route to the server room. After resetting the machines, I'll move to the next phase. I didn't do anything! Don't you never show your face around here again. Animals. I'm telling you, I'm not the guy! <laughs> hey, what's taking so long? We need these slots back up. Need to reset that server, Felix. We're good now. Grazie. Now, to reprogram this keycard. After that, we'll have access to the armory and elevator. Heading into heavy security. Stay in the blind spots. There's a vent in there you might be able to use. There you go. I knew you still had it in you. <laughs> Thank you, man. Please. Oh man. Fuck. Actually killed him. Holy shit. Give him the keycard, armory, and elevator access. Done. Moving to the rendezvous point. I'll be there. Something stirred those assholes up, Felix. Quick. Good work, Felix. Get that card to save. We're one step closer to kicking off the ice. Once we have that distraction going, Case can make his move. Back on the casino floor. How's the drink sound right about now? Quite welcome. Head straight for the bar, then. Schnapps, please. On the rocks. Right away, signore. Here you are. Enjoy. Danke. On you in three. Cards in hand, heading downstairs. Hey! Here. I'm taking my break. <laughs> For that card, you now have access to the high security floor below us. And no one but the Lutasi Unicircle are allowed down there. Do I have to be stealthy? I'm gonna assume so, yeah. I love this mission design. I think it's gorgeous. I feel a little bit like James Bond. 12 seconds later. Oh shit. Well, just let me in. Let me in! This was not meant to happen, let's be honest. In the armory. Quite the collection. Grab whatever you can. Feels good. Wow, okay. Um <laughs> plenty of choice, don't you think? It reminds me of um John Wick when he's in that uh, that room if there's somebody uh Oh, wow, this, uh, I'm not a lie, this is pretty cool, like, I'm kind of like over the moon. <laughs> I don't want to leave this room, really don't. Hey, Twinkle Toss, you're not supposed to be down. I'm quite a bit. Showtime. Let's blow it up then. Igniting. Remember, we won't have long before the security response arrives. Time for the grand finale. Safe. Did it work? 
flawlessly. Oh, finally. Right on time. Let him go. Francesco, let's finish up and take them down below. Go help them up there. I'll take care of this myself. You know something about this? And here I thought we were gonna let you off easy. <laughs> uh... Oh no. The canal is too good for you. <sighs> this is gonna get real uncomfortable now. Case is a beast, man. Honestly. Oh, a shotgun. This is going to be beautiful. What's going on at the ball? Kaboom, man. Looks like a dossier of some kind. Stow it. I know Fuji. You won't know what's coming, Mitch. Oh. Is the focus a new feature? I didn't, honestly. No, 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 no. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I'm about, I am literally. so dead. Oh, hey, sir. <laughs> Drop shot to the extreme. that box from the casino's archive room. Seven Felix were right. The Utatsis were moving Pantheon cash through the casino. With a healthy cut in return. We got the breakthrough we needed. Records of wire transfers to a lab in southern Iraq. 
Directed to Matt V. Goosen. We notify Atlas so you can take a look on the ground. Time is short. But if we can get our hands on the Pantheon's bioweapon expert, we just might break this whole thing open. I say. Look, you know you're in DC, not fucking Alaska, mm. right? <laughs> yeah. Quiet, quiet. And then Rome, I suppose. We have a problem. Okay, Felix. After you. Back Thanks, in. buddy. It's Adler. Say again. Marshal. He's gone. Elaborate. The lab's empty. Goose have fled. So we're fucked. Not yet. One scientist was still inside with a canister in the cradle. Like the one we picked up at the palace. And? How stimulating. It's a frame up. Pantheon's activities will point right to Saddam Hussein. Goose is heading to the Kuwaiti airport as we speak. Well, that, that airport's in a war zone. Even if we head your way soon, can we reach it? I have a CENTCOM connection in the area. You might be willing to help us. Might? Huh. Well, if we leave within the hour, we'll make it by morning. Out. Okay, let's get ready. We'll get some shut eye on the way. Wow, that's guy. You were impressive today. Finally, the legendary Felix Newman in action. Yes. What's on your mind? I need to make a confession. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the furthest thing from a priest, Felix, but speak your peace. I am deeply ashamed of my actions in the casino. You take this non-violent thing seriously? Quite. But then I saw the Lutazzi thugs beating a defenseless man mercilessly, a senseless act of power. No one is innocent in that city. Afterwards, when I encountered the guard outside the vault, I lost control. In my eyes, he transformed into the avatar of everything I now reject. So I punished him. Good. It was probably less than what he deserved. If I lose myself to this endeavor, I am no better than the very enemy we seek to stop, yeah? Save your pity for the victims. You did what was needed to be done. No. My reaction was catharsis and indulgence. Harrow and the Pantheon won't be stopped with kind words and gentle attitudes. There is always a choice, Savati. Not always. Poor Felix, man. I like Felix. It's probably my favourite. Um, well, top three. <laughs> he seems so chill and like just dealing with a lot of problems. Perhaps a re-evaluation of my priorities is in order. Better not leave the team. You hear back from Livingston? No. But Felix sent him everything we know about Harrow and the Pantheon. Harrow might still have his ear. Of course she doesn't, but he still doesn't trust us. Who fucking knows? He's got to be rattled either way. Let's do the next mission, only because that one didn't take so long.
900. Captain Sims. Not now. Figured if I stuck around hell long enough, I'd see the devil. How's he look? Not what I expected. I left Langley because of you. Remember that, don't you? Central Command, huh? It's above the table. Unambiguous. Maybe you should give it a try. No, oh, no, it's a little late for me. So can you get us to Gusev? I can get you close. But, Doc, this is it for me. I'm on a different path now. Once you get what you need, I'm out. It's the second time I've heard that this week. Lord, give me strength. Get your crew. Leave them five. Sniping duty. Okay. Airstrikes are wrapping up. That's our cue. Entrance is on the other side of the parking lot. Let's move. Airstrike clears the way. Oh, that's... Contact. Snappers on the overpass. Clear them out. One team down. One motor left. Why is the other team? Yeah, she got there. Shit. Well, since we're going in the car, he is heading inside. Let's go. He is heading inside. Goose's plane is on the other side of this terminal. Can we do this stealthily? I doubt it. They're gearing up defense. We can sneak past. No time for that. Return fire. Go right. If that was Adler, then fair enough. To be honest with you, mate, fair enough. We got incoming. Far side near the back. It's nice to see my friend is actually shooting back for once. Adler's finally gone, you know what, I'm sick of us not doing anything. Clear. Look, look him go. Hell of a body. That a problem? Smoke! Of course. Oh my 
goodness me, they do mean business. I knew that was a bad idea the second I did it. We clear? Yes. Goose's plane is on the right. Hasn't hit the runway yet. Call this and tanks will be in range any minute now. Let's get to the game. There we go. Case, look out. Ammo cash on the counter. Gear up. So there is. That means we're prepping for something big, I say. The plane just needs to finish fueling. Move in. Yeah, well ahead. Are you for fucking real? Let's go! But again, is there any money, anything at all that I can use? Oh no. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh! The gas! I can't move again! have to move. I actually almost killed myself because of that. All clear. No sign of Gusev yet. Must be in the cockpit. Case, you're up. Clear. It's not Gusev's plane. We took the bait. Marshal, we need eyes on Gusev face out. Searching the area now. Tanks are almost here. Found them outside Terminal 3. They're taking them to a military cargo plane. Terminal 3? That's clear across the airport, Doc. So we shortcut it across the tarmac. The hell are you talking about, man? Those tanks? <laughs> How about now? Tarmac and we lose Gusa. We're sending ducks if we stay. I hate it when he's right. <laughs> oh my fucking god. I'll take it something. Keep moving. I have no ammo. Way. 
Coalition tanks are gonna be gunning for us in this T-72. Fuck me. I'm gonna get pulverized with my own tank line. Where this thing is up, though. Blaze taking off! Fire, Blaze! Fuck that guy! Target hit! Plane is ground! <coughs> we gotta go! Come on! <sighs> You're a hard man to find, Kazoo. It's high time we had a chat! Please! The Pantheon forced me to help them! They threatened my family! You buying that, Sims? No. Kiss probably came with the what? It's a good thing we brought a ah, lie detector. Ah. Case, make him talk. Ooh. I don't know! Why would they tell me? You're lying. No! I swear it! They don't share anything unless they need to! Ah! Ah! Case. Oh. Oh. Jane Harold brought me a biological agent, the cradle, from an American lab. The Pantheon wanted me to make it infectious, more violent. The victims tear each other apart like animals. Who else is working with Harold? Daniel Livingston? Never heard of him. I got a feeling he's telling the truth. I please, you must believe me! Hold the plug, Case. No! No! Stop! I don't know the target, but I can tell you where the weapon is! Keep talking. Furkuta. Former Russian prison camp. It became a bioweapon lab years ago, before it was shut down. But it still has what they need to scale up production of the cradle. That'll work. We can dispose of them now. What? No! He told us what he knows. Getting soft in your old age, huh, Sims? You've got your own ways and I've got mine. Gustav's in my custody now. Marshal, you catch all that? Affirmative. Mother loads in Borkuda. I'll let the others know we're headed there. The cradle leaves that camp. The Pantheon can release it anytime, anywhere. Millions can be at risk. It's up to us. Cradles in Borkuda, the Pantheon will have that base well defended. We'll approach at low altitude, land a few miles out. The next phase is all you said. So, hike to the base perimeter for infiltration. After that, find the Pantheon uniform to blend in. No problem. Right up your alley. Once inside, scout out the base. We need to know what defenses they have and whether there's anything you can do to weaken them. The saboteur. I think I might enjoy this. Once their defenses are down, the rest of us can move in. Then we'll need to find and secure the cradle. You ready for this? Let me at them. We're jumping straight in, okay. Heavy military presence. Looks entirely Pantheon. Can you get in? Inside the perimeter already. Now I just need to dress the part. Keep us updated. <sighs> I guess he'll do. Hey, he's finally back. <laughs>
Marshal, I'm in uniform. About to engage in a little reconnaissance. We're all ears over here. Right, okay. I see their SAM site. Looks loaded. You thinking about placing charges on that bad boy? Perhaps. Or I could sabotage their unloaded warheads. Convince them to swap out. If you can find someone to do it for you, sure. It's a possibility. And then... An attack helicopter landed in the gated area below. I might be able to place a charge on it. If you can get that close. And they're about to service it. Wonder if I could meddle with the fuel supply. Perhaps you can add some water to it. There's a security station. Maybe I can try sweet talking the guard inside. Any other options? Probably. Looks like they're about to load cargo into it. Something to exploit. By all means. They have a very impressive radar dish. Yeah. We need to do something about that. Could just plant a charge in the dish. Or take out its power supply. It must be connected to a generator. Any other options? Someone's stationed behind the security window there. A chat could be in order. Once right, okay. Three, we'll be good to go. You know what? We'll keep an eye out for the cradle. We'll say the nice guy approach. Just tell Sergeant Whitman that I'll have it ready for him. Out. Copy that. Is the radar system operational right now? As far as I know. Why? Is something wrong? Russians? To be honest, I don't know if they know we're on their turf or not. I'm not gonna ask either. Looks like they recently ran a clutter simulation. Whatever that is, the radar must go offline when the simulation's running. Is that it? Oh. Report codes. Interesting. Once listed as system malfunction, code 11A. He was deferring to a Sergeant Whitman over the radio. That might be useful. So what's up? You serious? Why am I just now hearing about this? Was he more specific about what he wants? Not surprising, I guess. First time I've ever handled one of those. I'll just wait on your word to kick that simulation off. Radar's handled. I talked their operator into running a clutter simulation. Clutter simulation? They won't see us coming. I like that. Hey, hey, fresh meat. Gross. Nothing personal. It's a revolving door around here. They just got here. I don't see any reason to rush it. It looks like the origin of that warhead shipment was Belarus. Belarus. A work order to put new guidance chips into the warheads. Model GCX-78. These new warheads aren't supposed to be installed until tomorrow. Maybe I can expedite that. So what do you know about these warheads anyway? I haven't even seen you around before now. Sure, but those things aren't ready yet. Well, if you're so in the know, what's the upgrade? Okay, I guess I can look into it this afternoon. All right, knock yourself out then. How do I get in there? 
shouldn't leave this body lying around. You didn't see me. I've been spotted. Oh shit. Use the situation if you can. This wiring could use a trim. Their missiles are compromised. Good work. Now you need to get the guard to swap the active warheads for the duds. Well, look who's back. Well, okay then. I'll get those new warheads installed right away. Perfect. Now you just gotta clip their way. Oh! Go hit the helo, Seth. That was close. Hey there, I need to load something onto the chopper. It's urgent. Sure, you got an authorization form? Hmm. It looks like the insignia for the French Foreign Brigade. Some kind of authorization forms with the same signature. Captain Betzer. He has pull around here. Isn't that sweet? Keeps a photo of his two daughters around while digging up biological weapons. So, you got a formal what? Shit. The French Expeditionary Corps? From the Second World War? <laughs> I'm not that old. Or French. No kidding. I owe a lot to him, but after my five years, I had to get out. No offense. Yeah, Angela and Christine. Of course, I wasn't built to be a father, and here I am. <laughs> but enough about me. I should help you with that cargo you mentioned. Now, typical. Well, I don't want to piss Betzer off again. I'll get things moving. Maybe I could do something with that cargo outside the gate. Set explosives on some cargo. Now to find some sucker to load that bomb under their bird. We all set? About time. Let's get to it. Marshal, little gifts been delivered into their chopper. It's Christmas in Borkuda. That's all of the targets. And no sign of the weapon. They gotta have a security station. You might be able to use the camera feed inside to locate the weapon. Then we fly in guns blazing. Come on, Seth. Clock's ticking. I'm on the security terminal. Stand by. It's locked with another cipher code. Yesterday morning, Commander. Is really not enough time to completely... Time? Yes. The risk of contempt... I will determine the risks. Commander, if... Is that... We've done what we came here to do. The weapon has shipped. Now we evacuate before the CIA or the Soviets learn we're here. Clear enough? Yes, ma'am. Things have been quiet around here, but I don't expect that to last much longer. Come with me. Oh, shit. Bad news, Marshal. Lay it on me. They moved the weapon. Harrow confirmed it herself. Jane's here? Now? Just saw her on the security feed. In some lab. Probably underground. Jesus. Alright, new plan. We're not leaving empty-handed. We wreck this place, grab Harrow unharmed. I've got a few questions. I'll find a way underground. Moving out now. Seth, time to take that radar off the line. My pleasure. Hey, radar man, remember me? Yeah, yeah, that clutter simulation set up. Whitman ready for it? He sure is. 
Starting now. Arcus-1, we've got aircraft to the northeast. Fast approach, you got this? Are you serious? No, I've got a sim running right now. Looks like a... Just a rain fire, everybody. Rain fire. Make it rain. Get to the courtyard. Take him out. Felix, we're heading underground to find Harold. Felix. Felix, you're breaking up. Can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. Jane, what the fuck? What are you doing? Lay your weapons down. I can get you and the others out of here, Troy. I don't think so. Oh my god, it is. Hey yo, isn't this the Isn't this the lab from um, Black Ops 1? On is it 5? Shit, hang on. I could have sworn this is the lab from 1. Uh 5, sorry. I cannot speak. Assholes is there. I literally had 36. Oh. Sorry, sorry. Let's go. I can't believe we're kind of experiencing the, the zombie maps. Well, a zombie map. This, honestly. I know you can hear me. Nah. Troy's made his decision. It doesn't have to be yours. You have a gift. Don't let it die here in the dirt. Oh shit. Don't quit. So much ammo. I... We can't change how this ends. Don't listen to her, Jake. Fuck off. Oh, I was. Stupid enough to literally walk into that. Location. Bumping into each other, don't we, Case? 
I take it Dr. Gustav pointed you here. I knew he would eventually let us down. <laughs> but unusual circumstances make for unusual bedfellows. I'm sure you're well aware of that by now. I respect you, Case. I really do. You put everything into your work, your principles. You may not believe it anymore, but I am too. It's all just about perspective. Hmm. Oh, so that's where you draw the line, Case? The nature of a weapon? <laughs> what does the form matter if it protects your values? What if you kill one person with that weapon, but you end up saving two lives? Easy! Easy! Take me! Kill me, Troy! There's nothing you can do to stop this! You know I hate being told what I can't do. Felix, get ready. We're headed back to the Rook. With the guest. We got lucky down there. Jeda is seines Glückeschmied. Everyone is responsible for their own fortune. That includes Harrow. We don't know where that weapon went. I'll consider us lucky when Jane starts talking. Yes. She'll talk, one way or the other. Count on it. We're on our way home, and I can feel a giant guillotine hanging over our heads. When it drops, it's anyone guess. Who is this person we're bringing back? Won't say a word. She's got that I know something you don't smirk on her face. I used to think it was cute, amusing. Maybe I should have seen this coming. She was changing and I wasn't changing with her, but I, I couldn't tell the difference. I just can't wrap my head around this. The motivation. She was a patriot. Followed in her parents' footsteps. They were both CIA too. They were her inspiration. Believed in the mission. She'd never let them down. So what am I missing? They're wasting their time in there. She's not going to give anything up. Just be patient. Hey, we got a problem. Are still playing hard to get? Big surprise. She had something embedded in her forearm, a device. Felix thinks it's a tracker of some kind. They know where we are? We should assume that. Then let's get out of here. Take her someplace else. No, we don't have time to relocate. We make our stand here. The Pantheon wanted they're gonna have to fight for her on our turf. We need to get her to talk before that happens. Does it sound like she's on a schedule? Leave that to me. I've got something tucked away that'll help. I just need some time to prepare. You're okay with this, Marshal, right? Get on it. The rest of us will start fortifying the house. If you've got any unfinished business around here, now's the time to take care of it. Okay, well. Let's get started on Harrow. We're in it for the long haul. Okay guys, well, I'm going to end it there, thank you so much for watching, it's probably going to be quite a long episode, um, or I'll split it into two videos, I'm not quite sure uh, what I'll do when it comes down to editing, but thank you again, uh, please leave a like and subscribe or dislike entirely up to you, it only takes one second, and have a good rest of the day, thank you very much guys, have a good day.